So this golf club in my hand is going a little bit unnoticed. It's a little bit of a secret weapon and many golfers would benefit potentially from using this club. Oh, that's an absolute joy to hit. I'm going to explain a little bit more in this video and do some testing. Okay, so many golfers, maybe yourselves, would struggle a little bit more in this longer part of the bag. You know, that five wood, that fairway wood area, maybe sometimes also hybrids in terms of controlling the shot. And maybe so, more so maybe in the fairway wood. So five wood typically a little bit more loft. Sometimes it sounds like a little bit of an easy club to hit, but sometimes the length is a little bit of a challenge for certain golfers to get that consistency of that connection on the club face. We know that fairway wood, we sort of need to get a, a relatively decent connection with a good angle of attack to get the ball flighted and sometimes a little bit of speed and we all don't sometimes have that. That was a nice shot. So sometimes, we, as I say, we, we struggle a little bit with that connection of the golf ball. So if we could have something that would give us a little bit more help on getting that, that consistency of that strike, then that would always be a positive thing. And then we look at the other side of things, maybe like hybrids, so we're replacing those long irons. Many of us have hybrids in the golf bags now, don't we? And a lot of these hybrids are very much built, you know, of being a little bit more upright in a line angle. So sometimes we see, see golfers mentioned to me a lot, and I sort of see this myself, is hybrids tend to have a little bit more of a left miss for our, us as right-handed golfers. That also has its challenges. That sometimes then puts P plus. So they like the shaft length of the hybrid, maybe the ease of use of it, but then struggle a little bit with the control of the sh face angle and the shot direction. See, that was a little bit of a low strike, a little bit of a weaker one here. So I'm hitting some shots here at the moment with a five wood. So this is a Callaway Rogue ST, standard sort of five wood coming in at 18 degrees of loft. And I'm relatively lucky because I've got some speed so I can, you know, can get this ball up and away. Ball strike is relatively all right, but I know many golfers will suffer. So the club I'm sort of referring to, maybe a little bit of a secret weapon, and they say, just sits under the radar a little bit. Not many people realize this club is actually out. It's the Callaway UW Utility Wood. And I've done a full review of this on my channel. So if you want to go a bit more in depth in this, we can go and check that out. But ultimately, this is like a, a crossover between a hybrid and a fairway wood. And there's some differences in the spec, which we're going to talk a little bit about. So let's get hitting some shots to start off with. And this club has actually gone into my golf bag in itself because I typically struggle in that fairway wood area. I've, I've always grown up without a fairway wood in my bag as a, as a junior. I was always a two iron golfer and I still am in a way and I still gravitate more towards that. But I always feel sometimes I need that plug in that distance really, that sort of three wood, four wood um, sort of area. So this is a 19 degree Apex UW, which I really enjoy hitting to be honest. And it's given me a little bit of confidence in an area of game where maybe I'm just lacking a little bit of confidence. And really, exactly for that flight, that's superb. So there's only one degree difference between the lofts of these, with the five would be an 18 degree, this being 19 degree. But as I mentioned, there's some differences actually in the spec and the makeup. So the first thing we'll look at is the head shape in comparison to that five wood and to that hybrid. So this is now a little bit smaller than a fairway wood. So that five wood I've just had there, a little bit bigger footprint from the front to the back, a little bit more squat in this um, UW but it's a little bit bigger than a typical hybrid head that you would sort of see. So it sort of sits right in between. And sitting it down, it sits absolutely square to me, which I love because I hate anything that sits a little bit toed in. So to me, that sits really square. That gives me some confidence. Very clean, gloss finish, nothing else happening, no alignment aids, nothing very clean on the look of it. Oh, that's an absolute joy to hit. And this is rare, when I tested this, it opened my eyes, I was like, this is a club I've potentially been looking for all my life. So I hit that like 269 run out. I mean, that's fantastic. That's, you know, I can't get my two iron out that far. My two iron typically two, or edging 250 if I get a really good run out, maybe to more 240 sort of area. Drivers getting up to like the 300 mark. So it fills that gap I've always felt like I've had. See, that was low in the face, but it's come out very neutral. It's probably just spun up a little bit. Won't be as long in the distance that, just that little bit of that missed strike. Yes, that spin's just climbed. Just lost a little bit of distance, but look how neutral it is. And that's the thing I really love with this, because the hybrid, I always find I'm fighting that left miss, and this I don't tend to. So we mentioned about the spec difference in this Apex UW. So what is the difference? So 
We'll talk about the length of the shaft first. So typically that five would have just hit there, comes in at 42.75 inches in length. This UW is coming in at 41 and a half. So it's a good 1.25 inches shorter in the length. And that's the big thing for me, it gives me confidence. And I think it will do for a lot of you guys out there. A little bit more of a controllable length potentially can give you a little bit more confidence of trying to find the middle of the golf club and that strike a little bit more consistently. Again, that's just come out so straight. And then a typical hybrid in, the, in this 19 degree loft area is gonna come in at 40.5. So that's where this length sits right in between. It's an inch longer than a typical hybrid, but it's a good 1.25 inches shorter than that fairway would. So the spec difference is this light angle that we're gonna talk about. So I mentioned hybrids typically can open up a left miss for a lot of golfers. That's because the line angle is generally a little bit more upright. So the line angle of, again, for um, a utility club or hybrid in this sort of loft is 58 degrees in line angle. This UW is coming in at 57, so it's a little bit flatter. Okay, so if we can have the lie a little bit flatter, it just controls the face plane till a little bit more, keeps it a little bit more sort of neutral. So the combination of the length, the lie, and a little bit of that weighted screw at the front is just keeping this a little bit more of a neutral bias to this particular club, which is, again, one of the reasons why I enjoy hitting this. And it just takes a little bit of my left miss out of my game. Again, that's not a perfect strike. It's a touch low, but it's right down that target line again. All those shots, I'd absolutely take all day long on the golf course. And that's something I always tend to struggle with in this area. So if, you know, big thing for me is the shaft length, it gives me confidence now. This is probably the worst part of my game where I wouldn't have confidence. I'm never used to having a fairway wood. Putting one in there, I just never really got it out on the golf course because the confidence wasn't there. And that's what'll happen with you guys when you're out there. You know, if you get certain clubs in there that you've had bad experiences with or you're not using it a lot, you tend to shy away from it. You tend to go into something that you, you feel more confident with. Yeah, and that's an absolute joy to hit a smidge pull it on that one, but it's 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 just a pull. It's no shape on that. Take that all day long. So if let's look at um, side on view. Really, what I would look at. Obviously, this one down here was a bit of a low on the face strike, so we can maybe ignore that. These were decent strikes, so you can see through the window that's going through. And then if I move into the uh, UW. Look how much more consistent. Again, these were my slight low ones, but it, it's much closer than again in relation to that five wood. So again, it's just creating that slightly tighter strike pattern, but still pr relatively high there, isn't it? So it's, it's as high as the five wood, but a little bit more consistent. And then when we look at the numbers there, you can see the UW, you see club head speed, um, a, a touch less because the shaft length is a little bit different as you'd expect but you can see actually ball speeds slightly quicker on an average on those hits and that's because I can control my strike more consistent again probably through that shaft length launch angle a touch higher is 19 degree against your 18 degree of your five wood little bit more spin okay but the carry distance you see is pretty much the same it's just getting there in a slightly different way so you see the difference of the height so I've still got confidence there if I was hitting that into a par five into a green with my land angle at 43 degrees against 38 and a half, I've got a bit of confidence, I've still got some stopping power there with that little bit of spin, a little bit of a land angle, I've got potentially a chance of stopping that on the green. So it's a good option for that as well. More importantly for me, it hits around this sort of 255, 260 sort of area, again, subject to my strike a little bit, which I just don't, at the moment, I don't have a club in there. So that's where this is slotted into my bag really well. Okay, so UW available in a 17 degree, 19 degree and a 21 degree. So if you struggle in that area game, maybe not getting on with hybrids, maybe you just want to get a bit more of a control of your strike, a little bit more neutral flight, definitely worth having a look at and giving it a try yourself. Post comments down below, let me know your thoughts and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.